our stores. I uh, just one day left in the 2024 girls state basketball tournament. Tomorrow is championship Saturday, which means all of our semifinal games are officially wrapped up. We'll start it with double A action. Number four Ravenswood taking on the powerhouse and number one seed Wyoming East. The Warriors came out on a bit of a tear, a lay in and a turnover that ends in points here as they go up five. But then Ravenswood's Riley Street hit back to back threes to close back in on the Warriors. But unfortunately, they had a weapon in Maddie Clark, who's just a beast for the East, especially behind that three point line, pushing the Warriors lead back out. Wyoming East rolling to win this one by 20. The final score 54 to 34. The Warriors are headed back to the double A state championship game. And we'll face number two Williamstown for the double A title tomorrow at 730 PM. Williamstown took down Wheeling Central tonight 59 to 50. Central actually had the one point lead at halftime. Williamstown battled back to win this one. In class single A, number one Cameron took down James Monroe. The Dragons are headed back to the championship game and will face number two Gilmer County, who beat Tucker County tonight. 49 to 41. Cameron and Gilmer will tip at 5 o'clock tomorrow night for the single A title. In class 4A, we had two of our area teams compete in semifinal games. Four seed in Morgantown taking on the one seed, George Washington. The Patriots had a 28 15 lead at halftime. In the second half, Morgantown started climbing back. The bucket and the foul gives the Mohegans their first lead of the game. Morgantown tacking on another one here, taking a two point lead into the final quarter off the rebound now. Kylie Kellogg bringing it down. 23 there on the putback. And Morgantown takes a 50 to 42 lead with 120 left to play. GW Zaniah Zealous there on the putback. G Dub not giving up. She gets the foul for the three point play. Here she is again with a clutch shot off the inbound pass. Patriots down 50 to 48 with under 30 seconds on the clock. Morgantown ball G Dub with a shot at the buzzer, but it's not quite there. Morgantown wins it 54 to 50 and rolls on to that 4A title game. Morgantown started making plays. They scored as many points in the first two minutes as they almost did in the first half. Um, tendencies didn't change for them. They they are who they are. Player tendencies didn't change. But I, I think that their sense of urgency was a lot different from the first half. Uh, you know, the old saying, the first three minutes well, of the second half, that's kind of what happened today. So. Uh, no, nothing. Just I think that uh, we, we tell our kids a team with the most urgency wins. They came out very urgent in the, that first few minutes of the third quarter, and it's a game of runs, and that was their run, and we tried to respond and just couldn't respond back. But um, we knew they were going to, and um, they, they, they began to make plays. And momentum, she's funny. She'll swing back and forth. She swung to Morgantown there in that third quarter, and that was a 21-6 to quarter. Other than that, you know, it looks good, but... That's all it takes. Morgantown will now roll on to that 4A title game facing Wheeling Park at 1230. And that's because Wheeling Park downed Huntington in the other 4A semifinal game early this morning. Both teams traded punches throughout. Jada Turner on the drive and the finish here. Wheeling Park's offense was rolling. A quick catch and shoot from Lala Woods all the way from downtown. Then a great dish from Nat Natalie Dougherty to Alexis Bordis in the corner. She knocks down another three. She had 17 in that first half alone. Huntington battling. Jada Turner counters with a three as the Highlanders continue to keep pace. A few moments later, senior Amara Jackson takes it coast to coast, just slicing up the defense, gets the bucket plus the foul. But Wheeling Park had some shooters today. A quick step up jumper here by Bordis just before the buzzer. She tallied 38 points tonight, you guys. The Patriots advance to the Quad A championship game. The final score 63 to 56. So Wheeling Park will take on number four Morgantown for that 4-H state championship game. And again, tip off tomorrow is at 1230. Well, the Triple A state championship game is also set a huge upset last night as number four Lewis County handed number one 25 and 0 East Fairmont their first loss of the entire season in a nail biter. Nitro and Lewis will compete for the Triple A crown tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We'll make sure to tune in tomorrow night at 6 and 11 o'clock for all of your high school girls state championship recaps and 